Are you a console streamer trying to get overlays like this onto your stream, but you don't have a PC? Today I've got you. I'm going to show you several different tools to solve this for you. Let's get into it. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you for stopping by. I'm Cyrus, and I'm here to improve the streaming experience, not only for you, but also for your viewers and for viewers like you guys watching stream right now. If you enjoy this content, make sure you hit it with a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell for notifications. Come check me out on Twitch. Be one of these uh, wonderful people that are talking on the sides. And uh, yeah, come join our Discord. We'd love to have you. We have a great place for all streamers to ask questions and be a part of some really cool events. With that out of the way, let's talk about increasing and leveling up your stream as a console player. First up is a free set of overlays. We're gonna go ahead and go to our Twitch dashboard and click over to Discovery. We're gonna type in alerts and we're gonna see one of these that pops up that says free stream alerts and followers. This is up just above my webcam right here. You're gonna click install and then go to my extensions. You're gonna scroll down. You're gonna see free stream alerts. You're gonna click activate. And then you're also gonna click the gear. From here, you're gonna go ahead and set up everything. They have three different free options to choose from. Personally, I love clean. So if you choose that, you'll go down to the configurator and then you can change, add, and a whole bunch of things that you need for your stream. Use them, create them. This is a really great opportunity for you to have alerts on your stream. There is one caveat though. These alerts do not pop up unless you're watching from a browser. So like a browser on your phone, a browser from a PC, browser from your console, but they do not show up in your Twitch app. So as being a free option, this is one of your limitations. The second one is overlay expert. You're going to go up to extensions, type overlay expert, and it will be one of the first ones that pop up. Click install, and then you're going to go to my extensions and find overlay expert. You're going to configure it and set it up, and they have a bunch of like free options for you that are already configured. Click the gear, and here you're gonna be able to see all the things you can customize. For a detailed tutorial on how to customize these, click the card in the upper hand corner, upper right hand corner, and check the description. I've already done a tutorial on this, and it's, it's pretty cool. Again, this one is just like the free stream alerts. It will not show on the Twitch app. It will only show on a browser, like a mobile browser, a console browser, or even your PC browser, but it won't show in the Twitch apps on any of those devices. Again, caveat of being free, but it's an option. Oh, and side note on both of those, you don't have to start them each time you start stream. As long as you have them active as overlay one, they will automatically start by themselves. And the third option is actually a paid service, but there is a free seven day trial if you go and check it out. It's wonderful. It is called Lightstream Studio. I really recommend you take a look at this one, especially if you're a console streamer, and check out the free trial because it is wonderful. What you'll do is go ahead and hit get started. You're going to do Lightstream Studio and sign in with whatever platform you're using. Benefit of this one is if you're streaming to Facebook Gaming or YouTube, this will work on both of those platforms. The other two were just for Twitch. Again, for a detailed tutorial on this, I did a video recently. Upper right hand corner will be a tutorial tag for that one. Please check this one out. This will show on everything, apps, browsers, a whole bunch of options. This is probably the most inclusive. Not only will it give you alerts and overlays from things like Streamlabs and Stream Elements, but so many of the opportunities like Moxie and things that you can do to animate things on your stream. This is a great option. Yes, it's paid. I think it's like eight bucks a month for 720p 30 frames. That's a really good starting point. I highly recommend this. And last, do make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm actually gonna be starting a series as the next set of videos that are going to be how to create a streaming PC for very low cost, but how you can do it as a console streamer and be able to stream with professional overlays without paying a service like Lightstream and be able to have full control over what your stream looks like and still, be able to game on your console. And that's it. This is a pretty straightforward video. Guys, if you're a console streamer, just know there are options for you. You don't have to be a PC streamer 
to be on any of these platforms. Stick with it, stay with it, hold on to what you have dear, and yeah, keep the grind, guys. I'm Cyrus, and welcome to the darkness. We'll catch you next time.